Sports, Sports, Sports Talk Zone. Welcome back to another episode of Sports Talk Zone. I'm your host, Renanjo, along Mikhail, a.k.a. The Guru. And Mikhail, let's start off with basketball this week. Sacramento Kings versus the Golden State Warriors, a thrilling several game series which the Golden State Warriors managed to win 4-3, beating Sacramento Kings 120 to 100 in the seventh match. And Steph Curry dropping a big 50, the most um, points ever in a seven game playoff series. Um, what, 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 what was your thought about this series? Um, just a very interesting series. The only series in that first round that actually went to seven games. I thought we would have probably had some other closer one with either the Cavs and the Knicks, but this was the only one that went to the seven games. Um, I was actually rooting for the Kings. Honestly, I'm. I don't know how to put it. You know the story. Fear. It's been so fear. long. No, fear. no, it's not the fear of. <laughs> It's more about the King hasn't been in the playoffs for a very long time. The first time they had a very good team with Sabonis, Fox, Malik Monk, a lot of role players. They were doing their thing. And to push the Golden State Warriors, the defending champion, I was kind of rooting for them, you know? I wanted them to go through. But hey, as you know, farm is temporary, class is permanent. Steph Curry can, as I said, put in that dominant performance in game seven to take it home for them. But yeah, ah oh boy. Going forward against the LA Lakers, now, that would be a very interesting series. LeBron versus. What is your expectation <laughs> for that series? Give it to me. Uh, you know, I have to say. No. This is my what? analysis. This don't, is my analysis don't. of it. Okay. The Lakers are a bigger team in sizes with AD, as we see the dominant performance that he had against Memphis. So the pain, but then Golden State is a perimeter team there, especially with Clay Thompson and Steph Curry, the Splash Brothers. But even though Clay hasn't been himself, but they still shoot a lot of threes. Jordan Poole, um, Wiggins, they will mainly play on the perimeter. So I believe that Los Angeles Lakers can beat them in the paint because they don't have anybody to match them size-wise. Did you but, see Looney on the board? <laughs> He, he's playing good. I'm not going to tell any lie, but he can't match up with Anthony Davis. And even then, they still have that 6'9", 280 pound best driver of the basketball in the history, LeBron James. Nobody that can guide him. <laughs> <laughs> still a top 10 player in the league, just saying, but... Top 10 is a stretch. <laughs> Arguably, it could even be top 5. Who is to tell, but just saying. <laughs> But um, I do think it will be a close one. Curry has always gotten, well, not Curry, the Golden State Warriors <laughs> with their super team has always gotten the best of LeBron's team. But I believe the size of the Lakers will be a factor and they should do it as long as the role players do what they do. We see Hachimura in game one do his thing. We saw um, Reeves been doing his thing. And even the last game against Memphis, we saw where D'Lo did his thing. So if everybody can put their part, AD and LeBron stay fit and healthy, they should be able to do it. Give me a prediction. Um, 4-2. Finishing six, <laughs> Lakers in six. <laughs> so you expect the Lakers to win, what, two games away from home? Yeah. Okay. They're gonna win that's, game one. That's a that's a bold <laughs> call. Very and bold remember, call. throughout the regular season, they actually have the upper and on Golden State. So you might say that has nothing to do with Golden it State will. Warriors in seven. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. 